Hi, are you lost? Well, I'm Caitlin, and this is Sean, and we're ambassadors on campus, and we'd love to show you around and give you a tour. Would you? <laughs> Perfect. Well, we'll start right here. We're outside of Crosby, and Crosby is the heart of campus, and we have all sorts of really fun things that you can do in Crosby. We have Gonzaga Student Body Association. We have Gonzaga Outdoors, our mailroom is down here. We have U.S. Bank and University Ministry. And in general, it's just a really cool place to hang out. Hey there. Well, here we are in front of College Hall. College Hall is the central nervous system here on campus, and it holds basically anything and everything administrative you need to find. So the Office of the President is here, financial aid is here, student employment is here. In addition to all the administration, administrative things, a lot of your freshman core classes will be here. College Hall is also the home to the School of Arts and Sciences, so if you are in an Arts and Sciences major, you'll be spending a lot of time here. Also in College Hall is the Harry and Colleen Magnuson Theater. It was newly renovated, so it's a wonderful new lobby and new seats, and it is home to our theater department here on campus. Lastly, in College Hall is the University Chapel, and it is the main place, the main home of University Ministry here on campus. We have daily Masses. In addition, we have a Sunday Mass at 8.30. <laughs> Welcome to Cogham Residence Hall. It's our newest residence hall on campus, and it's home to freshmen and sophomores and our live and learn community. As a student here at Gonzaga, all underclassmen are required to live on campus, which means that you will have the opportunity to live in a residence hall like Coughlin, although we have many more on campus that are available to you. We have an all-freshman dorm called St. Catherine St. Monica, which is home to about 350 freshmen here on campus. It is considered to be one of the more popular dorms on campus. We also have uh, a lot of freshman and sophomore combo dorms like Madonna. And um, in addition, we also have co-ed and single sex dorms. Our largest single sex dorms on campus are Welch, which is an all-female hall, and Desmet, which is an all-male hall. One thing that all of these residence halls have in common is that you have a residence, a residence assistant on every floor. They're typically one to two years older than you, and they're basically there to be your mentor. We also have free laundry on campus, which means you don't have to start collecting quarters. <laughs> hey there. Well, here we are at the Foley Library. And as much as you might not enjoy it, you will be having to do some homework here. But there's some great resources for you to get it done. Uh, when they first built the Foley Library, they polled all the students and asked them what was their best study environment. And they listened, took all these surveys into account, and as a result, there are oh, way too many study environments for you to count. Whether you like to study in chairs with arms, chairs with that rock, chairs with no arms, studying cubicles. Uh, one really cool thing about the library is the quiet level kind of ranges as you go up. So starting in the basement, it's a little bit more relaxed. You can talk have group study. Uh, first and second floor as it kind of gets, you know, hushed, whisper only, keep conversation to a minimum. Then when you get up to the third floor, if you open your backpack too loudly, you're going to get kicked out. But if that works for you, it works for you. We have all the resources for you to get your work done. Oh, I chocolate chip pancakes this morning. That was pretty good. Hi, welcome to the COG. We like to say it stands for Center of Gonzaga, and it's the home to our primary dining facilities on campus. So when you're a student here, you do have to eat, and this is where you're going to go. So every student has a meal plan, and there's varying levels, but basically what you do is, depending on how much access you want to the COG, you will have uh, an equal amount of flex points. So if you want to be here all the time, you'll have less flex points to spend at other places on campus. But if you want to have more flex points to spend at other places on campus, you won't be able to get into the COG that much. Now, what do we mean by flex points? Flex points are basically like dining dollars that you can use if you don't want to eat in the main dining hall. So you could go to Spike's, which is also in this building. It's kind of like our American Grill, where you can get hot dogs and uh, hamburgers and all sorts of stuff. You could also <laughs> go to um, one of our many coffee shops on campus. You could go to Subco, which is kind of like our subway on campus, which is also located in the basement of this building. Um, additionally, we have the bookstore in the basement of the building. 
where you can buy all of your Zag apparel for yourself and your friends and your family, and you can just go crazy with your Gonzaga gear. You can also buy your textbooks through the Zag shop because unfortunately you will have to get some textbooks to get studying. We're going to end our tour today at St. Aloysius, which is perhaps our most recognizable building on campus. This is our primary place of worship where a lot of masses are offered to our student population and the Gonzaga community as a whole. I hope you enjoyed your tour. I'm Caitlin Eastman and this is Sean Finerty and we hope to see you again soon.